The 2018 Auto Expo is almost upon us, and here's your guide to all the new cars that will debut at the show. BMW, haul number 15. A replacement for the popular 5 Series GT, the 6 Series GT is BMW's answer to the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. It will likely come with three engine options, a turbocharged 2.0-litre petrol, a 2.0-litre diesel and a 3.0-litre six-cylinder diesel. BMW will also bring in the brand new X3. It will go up against the new Volvo XC60, Audi Q5 and Mercedes GLC. The launch will likely be around May 2018. In addition to these, BMW will also launch the new M5 and the i8 Roadster. And joining the BMWs will be Mini's largest model, the new Countryman crossover. It should be offered with 2.0-litre petrol and diesel engines. Honda, Hall 10 Honda will have the second-generation Amaze on display, which promises to be more spacious and plusher on the inside. It will get an 88 horsepower 1.2 litre petrol and a 100 horsepower 1.5 litre diesel engine along with a 5 speed manual and a CVT. Honda will also bring the all new CRV that will, for the very first time, be offered with a diesel engine and three rows of seats. The Civic will also be on display. The facelifted model will eventually be launched and offered with a 1.6 litre diesel and a 1.8 litre petrol. Hyundai, haul number 3. Hyundai's hugely popular i20 is due for a refresh, which it will finally receive at the Auto Expo. The choice of engines is expected to remain the same, but a new continuously variable transmission CVT will be introduced. Hyundai will also be bringing the Ionic EV. It employs an electric motor which puts out around 120 horsepower and 295 Nm. 0 to 100 is pegged at 10.2 seconds, 9.9 .9 seconds in sport mode and the claimed range stands at 280 km. Hyundai is also expected to display the all-electric Kona SUV. The company is aiming for a range of around 384 km from the Kona. Kia Motors, Hall 7 The only new car maker at this year's expo, Kia will be showcasing its first offering for India, the SP Concept SUV, which will be a rival to the Hyundai Creta when it goes into production in 2019. Also on display will be models from Kia's international lineup such as the Optima sedan and the Sorento SUV. Mahindra Hall 11 This year Mahindra has a real surprise up its sleeve, a convertible SUV concept called the Stinger. It's based on the TUV300 platform and could be powered by an upgraded, more powerful version of the 1.5-litre 3-cylinder MHawk 100 diesel engine. Joining the Stinger will be Mahindra's version of the new Sangyong Rexton. It will feature cosmetic changes and will likely undercut the Toyota Fortuner by a big margin. Maruti Suzuki, Hall number 9 Big news from the Maruti Pavilion will come in the form of an all-new concept car, Kristen the Future S. It will slot in below the massively popular Vitara Brezza and it could enter showrooms later this year or in early 2019. Along with the Future S, Maruti will also launch the all-new Swift. Mercedes-Benz, haul number 15. Mercedes-Benz is bringing in the all-terrain version of the E-Class. Chunkier bumpers, plastic cladding, underbody protection will come standard. As will 19-inch wheels, all-wheel drive and a higher ground clearance. Also on display at the Mercedes Pavilion will be the new Maybach S650 limousine and the all-electric Concept EQ SUV. Renault, haul number 5. In keeping with the EV theme, Renault will introduce the Zoe. It can do 300 km on a single charge in real-world driving and could be introduced in India based on customer feedback. Giving the Zoe company will be its crazy twin, the 460 horsepower e-sport concept and the Trezor electric GT concept. Tata Motors, haul number 14. Tata will bring a near-production version of its new Jeep Compass rival codenamed H5. It will be powered by a 2.0-litre 4-cylinder Multijet 2 diesel engine. In addition to that, Tata will also showcase its upcoming premium hatchback codenamed X451, which will take on the likes of the segment leaders Maruti Baleno and the Hyundai i20. A production version is likely to arrive sometime in 2019. 
Along with these, Tata will also bring JTP-badged performance versions of the Tiago hatchback and the Tigor sedan. Expect to see the 1.2-litre turbocharged petrol engine seen on the Nexon, powering both cars, making close to 110 horsepower. While performance will be on the agenda, so will electric mobility. Tata is expected to bring EV versions of the Tiago and Tigor to the Expo as well, along with the Tamo race mode. Toyota Hall number 10. The Toyota Yaris Ativ, as the world knows it, will be introduced to India as the Yaris. A 1.5-litre petrol variant will be the mainstay of the lineup. Expect the Yaris to be launched later in 2018.